Hello, this is Joshua with Open Mind Fabricators. I'm going to show you today how we can abuse your bamboo slicer a little bit and have some fun creating a coaster. Um, Multicolor, flat text, all done in the browser or in the slicer, and no need to do anything else. I know people say you shouldn't do it, but we're gonna. Let's have fun. I'll show you how to abuse your uh, slicer, your bamboo slicer. Um, not really, but there's some interesting things that I've seen people do, particularly around trying to get text that's flat. Um, and so I'm going to cover a little bit of that, and then I'm just going to kind of play around with things you can do um, with within the slicer. So, uh, Control One, get us a top view. I'm going to add here a primitive uh, cylinder, and so first thing I'm going to do is make a turn off uniform scale yours might be on um, make a coaster so 100 by 100 by I like three millimeters um, yep and let's leave that black that's right okay then add a part another cylinder okay we're gonna make that one again well 110 by 110 by 3 make that one white my AMS up here um, on a P1S 0.4 nozzle I'm gonna set this one to the same relative position as the other one zero 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 uh, I'm pretty sure that that's all zeros yep okay so we're zero zeros get a funky little look like that we slice it all comes back one color the white is expected okay go back to prepare one again so I'm looking straight down and then I'm going to take this cylinder here do a mesh boolean I want a difference and I can never remember which goes which so we will see what goes here Does that do what I want that's exactly what I wanted okay cool so now we can again preview the slice got exactly what I want awesome all right so now we have this cool little coaster shape but what I really want is I want some text on that thing, right? So go back to prepare, click on your cylinder, add some text. Oh wait, I want the text on the bottom. So I'm gonna control two to take me to the bottom view. Um, I know that I am going to set this thing at uh, 0.28 millimeter. It's just a, so I'm gonna do a multiple of that, uh, 1.12, right? Should that be right? Yep. Uh, so that's, uh, yeah, 1.12, I think I want negative, yeah. And then I'm going to put OMF. I'm going to do my text size at 30. I'm just going to leave it at Arial, go there. I'm going to set that there for right now. Go into my colors, and I am going to choose a third color. There we go. Ooh, cool. Uh, so take this coordinates. I'm going to put this right in the center. And negative 2.5. Sure, that works. So if I slice this right now, you'll see that in the slice, it actually has lifted this and that text, oops, where'd it go? Well, usually that text is sticking out. That's funny because I can see that it's lifted off the plate. I don't see the text. Okay. Well, Either way, it, it's not right. <laughs> um, you can't see the text is what I'm trying to show you. And there is the text. But what I'm wanting is I want to make this actually a change the type. Um, I'm really concerned why that didn't stick out. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but it's just kind of an interesting, make that three slice apart. Hmm. What the heck is going on there? That is odd to me. I don't understand that, but it doesn't really matter for what I'm doing. Uh, prepared. It's right there. I think I want to actually set this location to not negative 3, but negative 1.5. There we go. So now it's in there. That's what I was talking about. So now if you look, that's raised in there just a little bit. 
But what you can do, really easy, is if you just take this and change this type to a modifier rather than a part, now when I slice the plate, it becomes flat. Uh, if we go to control one, zoom out, it's not in the back of the plate, but control two, it's there. Now you can look at this and you can go, oh, I don't know, I, I don't like the way that that looks because it's backwards. It really isn't. You're just gonna spin it when you look at it on the on your table and everything like that. But just so you know, uh, if it's upside down and backwards because of what we're doing here, not a big deal. If it was a big deal, you can go in there and just like normal, go in here, flip it, you know, um, what do we want? 180, something like that, right? But you don't wanna do that here because we're already reversing the text when it prints. And so that would cause some weirdness. Um, but you could do 180 here, you know, again, changes things in weird ways, but you can rotate the text however you need. Um, so yeah, that's it. When I would take this, slice it, it's gonna come out like that. Hit here and print this plate. And I'll send it to the printer. And there we go. Adding flat text, um, using nothing but the slicer. If we want to take this a little bit more, a little further, oh no, I'd really prefer that this was a Christmas ornament. Oh, okay. Control one that, take us into prepare. We can add a part, a negative cylinder. We're going to make this one. Let's see, we're going to take this to zero here. I'm going to do it at zero just so it's lined up and then I'll set it where I want right about there and then I'm gonna rescale this thing down I mean it really doesn't matter how thick it is as long as it's thicker than the item you're on but whatever um, and I'm gonna make this a 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter hole whoops what happened there something happened I didn't get that second 10 in there there we go now slice it it doesn't do what I need I bet you it's because where it is let's move it here now oh. huh interesting Interesting. Oh, I'm in prepare. That's what's going on. Jeez. Ah, okay. There we go. That's why. Let's go back. I deleted the wrong thing. All right. There we go. That one's that. That's that. We want to move this location to zero. So there we go. And now if we slice the plate, ooh, we have a Christmas ornament. Um, you know, play around with it. Oh, you want something a little bit different? You come into the prepare cylinder, scale the whole thing down to what do you say, 50%? By 50%. And now you have a keychain tag, right? So all these little fun things you can do, just playing in the in the browser or in the slicer so hope that the hope that shows you something fun shows you a way to abuse the browser it shows you how to do flat text on a surface where it's you're not using a part you're using the modifier to change the color and once you do that it's level with whatever surface you're putting it on uh, good luck have fun and uh, thank you for watching Okay, one of the things I realized I forgot to show is when I was looking at this uh, 
I got my math a little bit off, um, and this affects print time. So if you look here, uh, we're looking at an hour and eight minutes estimate here. Uh, in my depth, when I'm looking at it from the top, slide angle, uh, control one, I spin it up like this, right? I look at my layer slices, and you can see right here, it's getting six layers of red. That's probably more than I need, right? Um, I could probably get away just fine with three layers. So 0.76, this is what I was talking about when I was talking about that uh, inset. So 0.76 would cut down my layers. So if I go to my text shape here, under prepare, text shape, change this text to Point seven six. Is that what I'm doing here? Let's see here. Now, if we look at this, where are we? Yep. So we only have three layers of text, and we cut off eight minutes. Not a lot of time in this instance, but it is time, right? So if I was to cut that, and I think I'd be just fine with three layers of red in there. Right, um, and then we got some infill going on top of that, so you can see more, but that's all the infill layers and then the final layers. Um, I think three layers would be okay for it, um, but yeah, just something to think about when you're doing your inset. Good luck.